Hey everybody, this is Mr. Philippek, and I thought I'd put this little uh, PowerPoint together uh, regarding, you know, concept maps uh, 101 here. And the idea is that I've noticed that students are kind of struggling with this idea of how to organize all this information. And so on this slide here, you see all of the major macromolecules that we've talked about. This is the thing we went over in class. And so you can see here we have the idea of carbs, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. And down the left-hand side of this table, we see that we have elements and building blocks and maybe the different types, if it applies, uh, how they're put together, what the name of the linkages are, and finally the chemical tests. And so uh, what we're going to do is try to show you just basically how to get a concept map started, how to use this whole chart here uh, in order to help us out. And so, you know, down here in the corner, uh, I just have this as a guide, but really all good concept maps, uh, we're going to start just doing carbs, starts with a central theme. And so in the middle here, we're going to write the word carbs make a little circle. And then branching off from this central word, we want to use some of the information that we see here down uh, in this chart. So maybe one of the um, topics here is elements. And I'm not going to do the whole concept map here, but just give you an idea here. And so when we look at the elements, and I kind of look down here in my chart here, I notice that it's carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And sometimes with concept maps, we can you know, begin to branch off for each of these. And maybe if you want to get fancy here, change the colors. So when I take a look at my concept map and I kind of read it back, I know here that carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen are all elements within carbs. So you see how I kind of work backwards from here. And so maybe now I go down to my next type here and it says uh, building blocks. So maybe over here I write the word building blocks. And building blocks, and again, I apologize for the hieroglyphics there, but, you know, the idea is what makes up carbs? So what are the building blocks to make up carbs? And as you can tell from our chart down here, it says monosaccharides. And so I would kind of link off that and say monosaccharides. And then maybe off here, I come up with some examples. So I have glucose, fructose, and galactose. And so again, when I read that back, glucose, fructose, and galactose are monosaccharides, which are building blocks of carbs. And I think this approach really kind of helps out. Like if I head here to the next one, um, maybe we do something on lipids. And again, I could start off with elements that make up lipids and have that. Uh, I could have the building blocks. I'll just do that BB over here. Um, maybe I talk down here about the linkages, right, or what type of bonds form them. Uh, and then over here, maybe I have chemical tests. I'll just call that CT. So again, the more we build off, right, the more we build off, uh, the better it'll be. Next one here, um, you know, we had proteins. So again, we have proteins. This is on a whole other page. And if it's easier, do it on... Um, a piece of notebook paper, that's fine. So again, we can have elements. You know, I'll do it again, BB for building blocks, linkages, all right? And you know, with the linkages part here, you know, we want to make sure that we understand that everything is put together via dehydration synthesis, all right? And so then, you know, maybe we have, you know, chemical tests, CT there, Okay, are there any different types of proteins or, or building blocks, you know, amino acids here? And we can kind of branch off all the different amino acids there. Um, the last one here is the chemical tests. Now, for some students here, um, maybe you make a whole other uh, chart just on chemical tests. And you could do, like, what is the iodine test test for? All right, and again, we can use our chart from our lab of our knowns that iodine starts as yellow and turns blue or black in the presence of starch. So we'd want to put that on, you know, around here somewhere what iodine does and make sure that every chemical test, like this is Benedict's, um, then we have Bayerette, 
brown paper, and so forth. And you want to make sure that not only do you say what the chemical test tests for, but maybe what's an example of a monosaccharide? What type of foods might uh, contain monosaccharides? What type of foods might have disaccharides, polysaccharides, proteins, and lipids? And I hope this will give you a good start to your uh, concept maps, and I hope you found this to be very helpful. So thanks for listening.